When the craziest of this past year happened, we added a hand washing station and these. How do you poop in a bucket and which one's best? The Thetford Porta Potty was our first addition. It's got a very large storage tank where it has a nice gauge so you can see how full it will get. On the side, there's a convenient toilet paper holder, battery operated freshwater pump, and you fill up your fresh water here. It's got a very large tank for water. Lid, pump, and a flush handle to put the waste into the storage area. Since we keep this in our rooftop tent annex, we've had questions about if it smells. The answer is no. We use chemicals to put it in there the, and we clean it. And there's a nice seal, just like a toilet that goes down in. It's got a water seal, so it's all tucked away. We don't normally dump it when we are camping because it lasts a long time. Three people, four nights, no worries. There's a gauge that will tell us, but when we do get home, we do dump it in a normal toilet. Gauge here to unlock the top. Slides the toilet lid part off. It's got a nice handle so you can just carry it. Flip the little thing down and just pours on out. There's a little button here to help flush it down. Rinse it with water, dump out the water, good to go. So we don't actually poo in this because when you're dumping it, it makes the dumping process pretty gross if there's any splashing up. It goes on like that, snaps into place. But when it is full, both the water and the waste, it is pretty heavy. So if you've ever had to dump a toilet, our RV, you got a nice long tube going down and you don't see it. This is a gap, you see it, which is gross. So, which leads us to our poo bucket. What makes up the toilet bucket? A lid, a bag, and a bucket. We use the Camco toilet lid that comes with some bags that has some chemicals in it so that it soaks up all the wetness. You can always use another bag that has kitty litter or whatnot for you. Do you, Why do you have a lid? Because it gives you a nice little seat. And have you ever tried sitting on the bucket? It hurts your bottom. So this works great. Since we do have this in our annex, we do single use baggage. Um, some people may end up having kitty litter or sawdust with them and they just toss it in there and can do more than one time. For us, we just, after use, tie it off, dispose of it in the correct location, put a new bag in so that we are good to go for next time. The Camco toilet seat that we have is fairly lightweight. It does have a nice ridge where it fits perfectly onto our five gallon bucket. It's a Home Depot one. I know that they might not fit on all of them, but the Home Depot, it does fit. It's got a clasp that keeps it nice and shut. So really you could use this for both pee and poo. It just adds something to soak up the liquid. We of course just use this as the poo. This you could use for pee and poo as well, but dumping is disgusting. This is definitely the more expensive version. If you had to choose one, this would probably be the one you'd want only because it has the features of a toilet. It's the height of the toilet. It's got the waste compartment, so it keeps the smell in. It's got the water pump that flushes, helps flush everything down. This, definitely a budget toilet, but works as well. And we got the bucket, we got the bags, which of course you'll have to replace. You can either buy the expensive bags that have the chemicals in it, or just the store brand ones and maybe add some tea litter and you got your lid. This is a solution we came up with all the changes in the world while we were camping. Hope it gives you some clarity and ideas for your future camping trip. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.